So we are setting up the primary and secondary line for Elaris pump. And we, of course, first need to set up our equipment for that. We need a line. And here's a chamber of the line. Line. And this, this is a cassette. At this moment, it's closed. But we can open it up with a pushing with our button up. The line again. How it looks. And we will start to set up our pump. At this moment, you will see uh, the Alaris pump, how it looks when it's not turned on. So we first have to power it up and have a power on before we can do anything else. Uh, for this exercise, we can set up the rate volume to be infused by uh, pushing the buttons with the numbers and hitting the enter after that. When we are setting the rate and volume to be infused, we must hit enter before a pump will recognize it as a new value. If we are changing only one value, uh, rate or volume to be infused, we can press left side buttons and enter that value. You see when it says complete entry, it's asking us to press, press the enter button. And in that time, the, uh, our pump will recognize it as uh, the value that wants to do. This is the volume infused and it's mean only how many cc's was giving to our patient and at this moment we want to make it zero. Enter and after the pressing the enter we will uh, locate our run button on the right side corner and press it. Uh, how do we prime the line? We first have to take the cap off and being sure that we are maintaining our sterility. We have to be sure that we have a clamp, our cassette, take the bag, open it, spike the bag. And this moment we are doing that and we change the bag upside down on our pole, pressing the chamber to put the fluids inside of the chamber so that is a half full and we still have our cassette closed. So at this moment we will open our cassette so that we can prime it. And usually we are uh, keeping the cassette in, a, in a, a position that we can see the fluids coming through. Our cap we need to take off so that we can see when the fluids comes down and ensure that there is no any bubbles anywhere in our whole line setting. When we see that fluids went through our cassette that was uh, primed, we will close the cassette and put it inside uh, of our pump. Uh, we are doing this very gently. We don't need to hurry up or we don't need to push it in strong. It's a very gently and nice process to do. And now our latch is closed and our pump is ready for infusion. To set up the secondary line, we are following almost the same rule as for the primary. We need to have our equipment ready, of course, our line and our medication that we will administer. And we can start to prime the line. First take the cap the same way we did before. And we spike the bag, press the chamber, open the roller clamper. This moment is opened. And before we uh, press the chamber, we have to be uh, sure that it was closed. Otherwise, the fluids will go through uh, in an uncontrolled way. So we have our secondary line. Uh, we press the chamber. And when it's uh, uh, primed, we first have to clean the uh, uh, our port with the alcohol to ensure the sterility. At this moment, we will put the primary bag below the secondary bag so that we can ensure that the secondary will run. Press the secondary button, and you can see that uh, now the rate is highlighted. It says only one cc per hour, and we will change that to the uh, desirable amount that we want to do. And so, we are pressing the buttons down numbers to ensure that we can get the, the rate that it's uh, prescribed or that we calculated. 
and after that we will press the enter so our rate is at 30 cc per hour and you see now that's a highlighted volume to be infused and we are pressing 50 cc per hour and after that we can press the run button and that will be it be sure that the primary bag is lower than the secondary bag because otherwise it will not run correctly. Good luck with setting up the IV lines.